All right, good morning, YouTubers. This is uh, part four of the Mercedes Dakota swap. There's the engine hanging. Uh, everything came out pretty easy except for the oil cooler lines. Uh, basically, uh, ripped both of those loose. They would not thread off. I heated them and everything else. Um, the engine mounts were both junk, so I ended up just uh, cut one side and the other side pretty well cut itself. Uh, Exhaust was uh, already disconnected from, uh, I thought there was more to it, but there's a piece of flex pipe on it, a flex joint, and it was junk. Uh, there it lays. Um, saved the most uh, everything I'm gonna need on the engine to put in the Dakota. Uh, getting ready to move this piece of junk out of the way and uh, maybe pull the Dakota up here and start pulling the 4.7 out of it today. It's supposed to be nice. Uh, it is nice. I mean, don't get much better than that here in Ohio. Uh, supposed to be like 60 today, and we'll take that. Um, the only uh, the only thing I can say about this engine, for what I can see at, at, at 188,000 miles, the uh, wire to the uh, engine heater plug, which I never use anyway, was deteriorated. I mean, all you had to do was move it, and the insulation fell off of it. I hate to plug that into my house. <clears throat> you would have blew a breaker for sure, a trip to breaker. Uh, it's really, um, I'm remarkably clean. I mean, I've seen these diesels where, you know, you can already see the top of the oil pan for grease in the top of the valve cover as well. And uh, part of that oil up there is where I rolled this thing up on the side. And that's another thing. I had this video that's part three. Uh, YouTube kicked that video out for inappropriate content. So apparently uh, YouTube doesn't think you should flip a car up on the side or something. I don't know. Uh, by no means do I suggest you do that at home. So uh, not that I'm an expert, but I've done a bunch of them. And if you flip a motor up or a car up on the side by, on your own, that's your business. But uh, I'm not telling you to do it. And complete disclaimer, uh, not going to be responsible for your... Uh, injury or whatever else uh, so <clears throat> anyway there's uh, the spare engine stayed intact you can tell by looking at this car we didn't hurt anything I mean look at it beat all to pieces um, this is remarkably rust free but it's still uh, pretty well junk so uh, as long as I had the old 350 SD driving it, this will remain here for parts. Um, you know, one piece off this car is worth more, um, you know, as a part as it is. Uh, you could scrap three of these. It wouldn't be as much as, you know, uh, worth maybe a steering box would be worth or a blower motor or, you know, whatever. Instrument cluster, something would go wrong with my car. Um, you know, this thing's sitting here to rob parts off of it be... Uh, kind of foolish to part with it until you know we're completely done with both cars so it'll go back there in the boneyard and uh, probably going to take that spare engine off of it and mess around with it sometime uh, i think it's locked up i know the turbo is but uh anyway be good parts engine like i said as long as you have these things sitting around and uh you are trying to drive one of them it doesn't pay you to get rid of something. You know, that, that rubber disc right there, uh, that torque disc is worth, you know, something if you need it. Or, you know, just any old thing on them. You know, it's, it's not only are they sometimes hard to find parts, but uh, that power steering pump, you know, there's there's a million things, a vacuum pump that's on these old cars, wheel bearing assemblies and, you know, anything. You know, uh, that... Uh, wouldn't want to have to go by if this thing's sitting here and i'd feel kind of stupid if we junked it and then uh ended up having to buy buy a part so anyway as long as uh, i'm driving the old gray fuel black fuel mule down there the old gray car uh this thing here will remain here so um that's all there is to say about this right now um i appreciate anybody watching and uh we'll uh update you i'm gonna probably just set that engine off the side and it's supposed to be really warm and really rainy at the end of the week sometime and uh, that'll be a good day to power wash hopefully by then I have the engine out of the Dakota 
and uh, we'll power wash that motor and power wash the engine bay on the Dakota and uh, you know it'll be a good day for it and I usually power wash my driveway and my house a couple times a year might be a good day for that like it's supposed to be like 68 degrees and rainy 25 or 30 percent chance of rain so uh, be a good day to get the power washer out get wet one time be done so all right thanks for watching and uh, hope everybody has a great day and uh, survive the covid 19 so subscribe if you can thanks